Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we are going to be using a new playmat uh, to do a small little mail call video and just get a chance to talk to you guys out there. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this playmat. I really love it. Uh, this was actually done by Amanda LaPalm, or I think her old YouTube name was, uh, uh, I forget her old YouTube name, but uh, I always knew her as Amanda LaPalm. She does amazing artwork. That's where this mat is from, if you guys are wondering. I pre-ordered it from Core TCG. Core TCG actually has them now. I brought it. I love this mat. I love this mat to pieces. It's gorgeous. You guys know I love Akiza, so as soon as I saw this, I was like, take my money. I'm buying it for 25 bucks. But very nice play mat. So I know a lot of you guys out there are probably wondering that. But we got a little bit of a mail call opening to do for you guys today. So that is what we are going to be doing here. So let's, without further ado, get opening up. Um, some of these cards are just cards I needed to build, just some decks out there. Nothing super expensive, just things like I want to, uh, little engines I want to throw in other decks, test them out, maybe do deck profiles on, on them in the near future. And just for future deck profiles as well. So just little little stuff, not nothing big. So the first thing you see here, as I yank it out of here, is Broken Line. And you're gonna say, why the heck are you running Broken Line in here, Seto? This, I like it as a one of. I've been testing it. I know Olynthia was working on it, but uh, I like it as a one of in the Counter Fairy deck, just as a one of, because once people see this, they think you have more. Uh, we also got one Master Hyperion. I picked this up because I am rebuilding the agent deck thanks to the new quote unquote agent support that the counter fairies gave to the agent archetype. So I'm reinvesting in that and just, I already have all the cards. I just wanted another Hyperion because I only had two of and the other one was a gold rare. So I didn't like the mix matching rarities. Then we got two invoke Pogatrio. Now I don't have invocations or Macabas, but I have a feeling that those are going to get reprinted in the Battles of Legends set, most likely in June, if not sometime soon, soon after that. So what I'm doing is I'm picking up all the low-key, not expensive Invoke stuff, which I already have some of it, but I'm just picking up some of the low-key, not expensive stuff along with other things. So when the, that stuff does come out, I can play like Blue Eyes Invoke and play Invoke in different decks. So same thing I've been doing with True Draco stuff, pretty much. Though True Draco may get hit, so I've been picking like the like the, the two, the three, the four, five, you know, five dollar cards, the little things out there, uh, because I'm hoping in the coming months that I can build maybe True Draco Ubel dot deck. Uh, as long as long as Diagram doesn't get banned, I can build something for you guys out there probably. So we'll have to wait and see. Now these cards are really, really tight. They taped them up really good. So let's see here. Nothing, yeah, there's nothing super expensive here, as you guys can see here. Because um, I've been saving up my money uh, after the Kyber collection for, uh, excuse me, for mainly the next main set, which I want, the only thing I really want to build out of there is pretty much uh, the, what, 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 what do you call them? Uh, the uh, new Elemental Lords. And then the main thing I really want to spend my money on next is the Bowels of Legend coming up and the the uh, set with the Fur Raiders and the other stuff of that nature. That's what I want to build. But I got to wait for that stuff. To, that stuff is going to be somewhat expensive, I got a feeling. So I'm saving up my money for that in advance. So that is what we're doing right now. So you see here we got just some stuff. So I got these two, the fire, the earth ones, which are just big beaters, but... I have them there just in case. And maybe one day, I just got these as a joke for a friend of mine, but um, Ice Barrier Medallion, which is actually a good Ice Barrier card. It's kind of like a searcher for the deck, but I just picked those up because, yeah, my friend needed them and I was like, okay, I'll spend like, I think one was, they're like 15 cents a piece and this was like a dollar and that like, like 50 cents a piece. And I was like, okay, like I can, I can work something out here with you, man. Now this has got some cool old stuff I wanted to pick up, uh, just for my older decks out there. So we got my, another Super DD Warrior Lady. Um, I got the Super one because it's the original print. And then just some more Invocation stuff. So we got two of the 
water. Just, I know they're not, they're not the best, but I just got them up. Then we got, just for my collection, because I thought this was cool, one super rare kunai with chains. And then we got one elemental hero, Great Tornado. I just picked that up because he's a cool elemental hero that I don't have, actually, in a hollow rarity. So I just picked him up because of that reason. So nothing super, super expensive. I was kind of cool to get this super kunai with chains. I forgot he came out in a super, I think it was in a, yeah, he came out in the Duelist Genesis. But yeah, I just picked these cards up, guys, for future deck builds. Nothing, uh, the main thing I look forward to in here is my counter fairies and my agent decks that I'm probably going to work on in late April, early May, depending upon the ban list. Uh, though nothing probably is going to get hit, but I just want to see if anything comes back or like um, more likely like any major changes. There shouldn't be anything that's going to affect my deck, but you know maybe something will come off the ban list that can help me. Never know. But yeah, that's mainly what I'm working on here for you guys. So till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see you guys next time. Good luck dueling to all of you guys. Take care, everybody.